Hey, what's up, y'all? Ivy Jr. and Austin here. Uh, you know, usually we'd be coming to you. I'd be doing some Bluebell videos. Hadn't done that for a while. Um, but tonight, we have a different taste test. Tonight, Austin is taste testing some of Grand's beefaroni. And I'll be taste testing some of Grand's spinach dip. So, let's go ahead and get this kicked off. Austin. Take a taste of that beef roni and tell me what you think. All right. Very cheesy. Cheesy? Any particular type of cheesy? Velveeta cheesy. Velveeta cheesy? Because nothing can beat a good <laughs> Velveeta. Yeah, not at all. And what kind of meat's in there? I think it's, um, actually... It's ground beef, but I don't uh, know. It could be. Cow. I think it is ground beef. Well, beef is cow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it was good, you think? It was awesome. And so, what you washing it down with here tonight? Some A and W root beer. A and W. Let's see the tag. Ah, A and W. Sure is. How is that? Awesome. Awesome. Is that what A and W stands for? Awesome. Awesome. I guess so. Okay. So here I got. I'm gonna do some of Grand's spinach dip. Now, I'm gonna eat this one. what I'll do is uh, I have a spoon here just to kind of mix it up because we just heated it up. What I do, I try it with tortilla chips and with Waverly crackers. Both gives it a little bit unique taste in its own. Oh, cookie jar. We got cookies in it. Just saying. We're good. We're good. So, let's take a little dip with the Waverly cracker in the spinach dip. Oh, it's breaking off on me. That's just a cracker because you cracked. Let's see. Mmm, mmm. Can I taste If you never this? had grand spinach dip, you miss in life. Can I try She uses, oh, you can absolutely try some. What, what you using? The cracker or the chip? Um, I never used a cracker yet, so I'm going okay. to use the cracker. So Austin's trying to wave the cracker in the dip. We got let, you got let the camera see you. And how is that? Good, okay. The so now. And the crunch to it, the chips are due to, but it's already soft. Mm -hmm. So So how about what you see your face while you're talking? So the cracker is already soft, so adding that makes it even softer, mm -hmm. which is a good texture. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to try it with a tortilla chip. Mm. You hear that crunch? Mm hmm. Both the chip and the cracker give its own unique flavor and texture, you know? Yeah. Now, personally, <clears throat> these chips are some pretty good chips to start with. I think if I had my choice, <clears throat> I'd probably still do crackers and chips. I don't know. Because they're both pretty good. Well, I'll take a little bite. Hang on. Mm hmm. Very good. Now, did you know? And when Graham makes this, she puts extra cheese in it because I love cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what makes it especially good is that the spinach she uses is a Peruvian Mongolian combination of Peruvian Mongolian spinach that's grown in the region of the Giza Dream Sheet Cotton. That's what makes it so green and spinachy. Did you know that? No, no, no you do. No, I do. So. I see her buy it all the time, but. Yep. I so I'm going to wash it down. <clears throat> this is apple juice. It's in a Gatorade bottle, but it's apple juice. Okay? Let me take a sip, see what this is like with the spinach dip. And by the way, I ate this whole thing of this because I love beefaroni. I actually have a whole nother container. Two, actually. Awesome. This apple juice is impeccable. <laughs> impeccable. Look. And I think the best thing about this, did you know the best thing about this apple juice? This apple juice comes from the Aztec Mountains. I heard about the in Aztec Empire. The Aztec Mountains in Colorado. Wow. Yes. The Aztec Mountains. And you have to climb the Aztec Mountains with flip-flops. You can't use any other type of shoes. You have to have flip-flops on. Really? Because when you get to the summit of the mountain, you have to pick 
the apples off of the mountain that are by the eagle's nest. And that's the altitude and the eagle's nest is what makes it so sweet and so good. Yeah. So anyway, enough of learning for tonight. So we want to hope that you have a great 2021. Austin, tell them Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Also, before we leave, make sure you comment of what you want us to try next. Okay? So, peace in Christ. Happy New Year. Have an awesome 2021. And we'll see you later. Peace in Christ, y'all. Bye. Press the button.